Hello all you happy peoples out there, this is Darako bringing a super awesome video and welcome back to my Let's Play series which I was bored at some point and got over... over... overworked and... didn't have any, uh, you know, ideas what to do so I was like, hmm, maybe I can record every last teensy winty little thing I'm doing in Minecraft because I get, uh, you know, ideas on the fly, right? So, yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Fancy meeting you here. So, what have I been doing to this place? Hmm. I kind of forgot, actually. What I've been showing you. So, let's just say ooh. let's go to the end dimension let's go to the end dimension and see what grow your coven been uh, doing yeah that's my escape route fast and easy uh, like a zoo. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Nothing fancy, fancy to show around here, but whoops! I almost fell into the lava. Like a derp. Get me out of here! Get me out of this hole! Yeah. Yep. Pesky people, you. Get me out of this hole. First off, there is lots of baddies over here. Hiya! Yeah, whatever. Piece of coal, no one give a damn. Hello, s sponge. Ouch. 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 Hey, asshole, I'm talking here. What you flipping get out of my. Get out of my life. Now I forgot my train of thought. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So. Hiya. Hiya. Oh, head. Darn it. So I'll decorate this place a little bit. Don't you dare shoot at me, you fool. I'm gonna suck it to you. If you do. Ouch. As I was saying. Whoops. Whoops. Again, with the interruptions. Why is your problem, man? Get a life. Ooh, gonna take that tear though. Very precious, precious resource. Very resourcey. I love resources, don't you? Especially the pricey ones. Guy, yeah, you little punk. I'm gonna smack you on, silly. Stop making all this fire, you crazy people. <laughs> oh sh shit! You broke my blocks, you jerk! Man, I forgot. I put what you may call it, fire spread on. No, it wasn't fire spread. I meant, uh, you know, griefing, mob griefing. It's still on because I'm uh, doing some. Uh, oh look, I got one of the blocks back. Great, thanks so generously of you. So, let me see, let me see. We'll brighten up the place, and ta da! That's the new look for the fortress, or that part of the fortress which is still uh, up and running. I like it. 
I made it myself. Can you believe it? Ouch. You jerk butt. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, Mick. Piss off. Bugger off. Scat. Skedaddle. So yeah, I made it myself. With all the triangles and whatnot and the new... Uh, whatchamacallit, netherworld blocks and whatnot. Pretty nice looking. Gotta get me some more. Oh, I made me wait. Oh, wait a minute. Wait just a wait just a hot minute. I think I got uh, some extra blocks around the place. Maybe I can fix it in a jiffy. And believe it or not, I do have some blockers. And let's get out of here before the stupid gas blows everything to bits again. That little jerk, or that big jerk. But ouch. Ouch. Yeah, it fixed. It's it is fixed. And and if I don't eat soon, uh, they're gonna fix my wagon too. A bunch of jerk butts. Even though I got all this crazy armor, they're still kicking my butt. So moving on, moving on, moving on, moving, moving on. And I use all this red brick around the place. Pretty nifty. Kinda makes the place. I renovated it, let's just say. Made it look fancy fancy. But I still wanna. Whoops. Ouch. I still wanted to use all this spawning space for the. Wither skeleton, so I can get the wither skeleton skull, kill the wither, get the beacon, even though I have lots of them, but you can have too many beacons. Ouch. I seriously need to get some uh, fire resistant potions around in the joint. Mm, potions, potions, potions. What potions is the box with the potions? Mm. Oh yeah, there you are. There you are. A fire resistance potions and all your troubles are about the thing of the past. Now try shoot this dude big but uh -huh. Yeah, so I uh, at first I was thinking making maybe you know making their own fancy farms get lots of weather fields, but I mean they're already spawning like crazy people all over here so don't wanna ruin my mosaic look it's cool it's fantastic and that's my w place farm you know probably I showed it nothing too fancy but uh, since we're on the topic of might as well show it one more time to you peeps ouch I got with it ouch you, all of you, oh, oh my, de oh dear, oh dearie me, oh golly gee willikers, lots of people wanna want my face today, get out of here jerk, yeeeh, yeeh, oh shit, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, get out of here you, Get out of here, you big face. Get your big face out of my face. Phew. So you got this spawning space, the spawner. Anybody wanna kill me? No. And they fall down. Then you push this button C for the pushers. Ouch. You asshole. Get out of here. And all the people get pushed. Uh, redstone magic push down then that the thing pushes them forward ouch where you came from where the hell you get out of here well yeesh even these little guys are kicking my butt the nerve of you get out of here so they get pushed they fall down and I smoosh them I mean no that's Closing the hatch so no other people can fall down. 
and push the button, smoosh their people's faces and the drops go into the hopper and the chest basically. And this place is getting too hot and heavy for all my taste, so I'm out of here. Uh, it's getting hot in here, so hot I'm gonna take off my clothes. I am getting so hot I'll get my ass out of here. Moving on with my tasks. So, I think someone. What else can I face? Fancy me too. Lots of zombies, lots of baddies. Get out of here, you jerk butt. Get out of here. So, we go to the end portal, which is over here, with a fancy staircase and whatnot. Jump in. And now we go. Now we got a fancy staircase. Oh, not very fancy, but it's fancy nonetheless. Then another staircase over here to the end Enderman farm. And now we have a whole platform connecting the spawning platform, which you can, cannot see because it's too dark. It's like invisible. And I have this place going to my villager operations business of things and whatnot. And yeah. This is my uh, representation of that uh, that business I saw on uh, this guy called ZF plays Minecraft. He has this pla planet Honk, basically the end dimension, but he breeds all his villagers here because it's nice and safe, no zombies, no nothing, whatever. So this is the collection area, just like in the overworld. See, it's all green with the new terracotta. No. Um, Concrete powder blocks and the terracotta, of course, and looking nice and green and villager friendly. Hello, peoples, how are you doing? And I decided to make these pads with the concrete sand, concrete powder, not the concrete itself, the concrete powder. It was a mixture of green, purple, and magenta. Is this magenta? I think it's magenta. Yep, it's magenta. So some sort of, uh, I just see this dimension is like an alien world, so it's like the moon or something like that. It has these strange pads made for these purple and green blocks. It looks like, I don't know, uh, spacey. We're in space. And this pad leads all the way. There's my portal to the overworld. And this pad goes all the way to my villager breeding cell. This is where all the babies come from, if you didn't know. So I got the villager with the doors down there. He's like, this is a village. You need to breed. We need more people. And these two punks are, uh, you know, eating the foods, making the babies. The babies, oh, he apparently is not a baby anymore. He's a big, big, I'm a big man. And then I pick him up through the middle, uh, through the middle, through the corner because he's pushed with water to the corner and through the corner I pick him up with the minecart and send him to the trading center which doesn't have lots of lots of spaces but I have lots and lots of space to work with so I'm gonna do some future expansions either this way or that way, I, I don't know so they go on this train track and they go up here, they fall into the water, redstone business, uh, they fall down here, the trapdoor closes, and basically we have a villager peoples, Ooh, look at these pretty things in the back. We have a, uh, whatchamacallit, a uh, repeater with a torch with these torches going down like so, then we have train tracks on the bottom. Don't get me started on the redstone explanation, I'm, I'm no whiz at this. I uh, copied some design which I don't know who did it before, I mean, there's like a million designs today with the villager breeding and uh, storing uh, cells units. And so basically if I don't like uh, yeah, some people, I push this button, the trapdoor, uh, the fence gate opens, 
this thing opens down here they get flushed down a hair boom fall into the water go forward then one minute so where were we when I was so rudely interrupted so yeah so this is the collection area for the villagers if you don't want any peoples I push that button they fall down the hatch water get e ejected by this rail they fall in this dos in this hole and probably we're gonna have some lava or whatever another another track to collect the uh, mine cards I mean it's not like I don't have a bajillion iron but uh, you never know we want to be conservative of the resources and lots of snow because of these dudes because they use them to get rid of the villagers but now they're making a big mess so one minute well rudely interrupted for a second time hope there's not a third one so haven't built the last component of our villager business here which I don't see where the place is actually oh yeah uh, it's over there yeah 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 so first off this is that's the breeding cell that's the trading center and here I'm thinking a potato and carrot farms but uh, haven't built them yet so like I said in due time in due time it's not very I know hard but got to get the right villager people for the business to start booming and then uh, make a what you may call it a conveyor belt to take all the farming goods to the breeding center then I'm gonna breed and breed and breed until we get what's with the hole uh, get all the good villager peoples especially the mending person I mean I have one in the, in the overworld but I won't have here another one because this is the safest place to be so on another topic uh what was I doing again oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I was here back because ouch because I was connecting all the rivers because it's somewhat the most efficient way to travel if you ask me and safe too because you're not walking on land you're not gonna see any bad bad peoples so this is the connection to all the you know rivers around the place ouch mm. double ouch Am I flying? I'm flying, yeah. So you see, like my place, the river goes from there, here, here, a little connection here, I don't know why. And it goes this way, and this is where I continue the river bed going this way. And I'll probably go to the over there to the ocean, because that's where all the villager and whatnot stuff going on. Skidoodles. So, yeah. Going around, terraforming, uh, expanding map. Uh, let's say a base of operations. We're gonna pretty up these uh, rivers too, you know. Yeah, but in due time, in due time. Now we're doing the grunt work, the the what you call it, the connecting of the rivers and whatnot, you know. Nothing uh, too fancy, but uh, can I help with, I don't know, lots of stuff, traveling and uh, expo importing and exporting goods, goods without any interference from stupid bad mobs. Here, a little bit, uh, what do we call it, claustrophobic, very tight, a tight squeeze, if you must. 
here it's I mean still it still needs lots of work but uh we're getting there we're getting there still needs lots of work but I'm getting there and that's a that's a bad contrast if I do say so myself we gotta terraform as well this land because it's looking a bit too flat A little terraform job never hurt nobody. I don't know, something like that. So you have a, like a um, little bit of a slopey slope, but it has to be a little bit gradual, you know. Doesn't look too stupid. And another one over here. Something like so, and uh, yeah, something like so. Stuff like that, I don't know, maybe. This, whatever it is supposed to be. I don't know, it looks a little bit weird. So I'm gonna plug it up and figure out something. Oh, excuse me. Hey, hello, horse face. What you doing? How's the weather? And yeah, without this weirdness, maybe we can shape it the way we want it. and So it can look a little bit, I don't know, normal. I have plans for waterfalls and whatnot. So it goes this way, then uh, here, what is it? another tight squeeze, another expansion. Plus I do have some lots of ideas for beautification of the place. I know lots of plant life, greenery, mossy stuff. The works, the works. I have lots of ideas. I just need to get around doing those things. Uh, here is okie dokie, artichoke, here needs more work. Goes this way, yes, no problem. It's it's not too shabby. I can work with it. But from here on and uh, yeah. Gets a little tidy whitey. Uh, let's see how how we're gonna connect this to the main ocean. I wonder. Uh, do I have to go under or over or whatever? I'm gonna make another ton of love through here, probably through this whole freaking mountain, which we call it, and connect it to this small pond. Go through here, and from here on end, I think we're in we're in the business. I think, yes, 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 yes. So we're two thirds of the way there. Sort of, generally speaking. Hey, spider! Get out of it! Get out of it, you fool! So. Oh, you got a sword. Fancy that. So here. I think we gotta do some caving business. Make a whole freaking tunnel for this place. I mean, that's the most logical for this section of the place, of the river. Spider, get out of here. You're. You're, uh. ruined the works. Mm. 
here looks so okay though. Not too narrow. Just the just enough. Doesn't look very clo claustrophobic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. This way is the right way. I'm gonna fix these stupid like two block height thing my doohickeys later. And from here on and uh, yeah, definitely is gonna there's gonna be a get out of here. Yeah, jerk butt. Look at all the potatoes. So from here on in, we're gonna start with the tun tunneling business. There's no way around it. But I looked the looks of it, and I didn't see a creeper, did I? No, I didn't. False advertisement. False alarm. Yeah, false alarm. And from here on end, it's gonna be tunneling time. I don't even got torches. Anybody ain't got any torches around here? Yep. Oh yeah, torches. Those shulker box is so amazing. Don't know about you peoples, but I think these shulker boxes are the bomb, the bomb. They're so helpful with all this garbage and whatnot. I must say. I must say, how can I live my life without the shulker box? They're so... They make my life so much better. Give it, give it, give it, give it, they give it me more inventory space. Then I can do everything what I want to my heart content. Without my inventory getting cluttered. Nice, spanking clean. Just the way I like it. Because, uh, you know, last time when I was transporting the villagers from, you know, the villager hole in the overworld to the um, to the end, I connected that place via the river going that way. And, yeah. So I decided to make a since I'm, uh, you know, connecting all the rivers and I like to terraform. It's a nice business. Business opportunity. I decided to make, to connect my base to this place, you know, where I go to the end to the villagers by the river, you know. And so, yeah. Yeah, plus uh, I love I love terraforming. Terraforming is my life. Terraforming is the one thing I don't even I don't need plants for something so I can terraform. I just terraform just because I like it. Uh, okay, what the hell? We're inside of a cave. That was unexpected. Very unexpected indeed. Covered all this cavage. I just want to do my tunnels without getting interrupted by uh, stupid mobs and whatnot. Yes, indeed. I don't need any more troubles than I already have. We're almost out. Can you believe it? We're here in no time flat. It's not even a big tunnel. But definitely it is gonna take me less uh, business, less uh, time to go through the mountain, you know. Easy, easy lemon squeeze.
the tunnel of love is finished. So we can connect to the other part of the neighborhood. No problemo. Hey tree, you in the way. Yeah, get out of it. Get out of it, tree face. Here, definitely need to do some terraformings. Too blocky for my taste. But you get the general gist of it. I just need to plug some holes, lots of water and whatnot. It's always easier, easier routes to go around the place. Because you know, we have the minecart uh, traveling, we have the horses, we have the elytra, which most people use these days, don't even, they don't even use this kind of old fashioned way of transportation. But I like it. We c I got to have some uh, differentiation of transportation in my life, so these boats and uh, waterways are the way to go. And gives me an opportunity to do some terraforming, which I love uh, very much. And make these cool waterways, tunnels and whatnot. Gives me something to do around the place. So yeah. Definitely smack that like button if you're a big fan like me of terraforming. I love terraforming. Terraforming is... It's fun. It's a fun activity. Indeed. And from here on in, we're probably about, uh, I won't say half the way, but most of the way to our destination. Uh, yeah, I just need to need to connect this to over here and e expand the whole play thing. And do some more beautification. But yeah, it turned out to be pretty damn good job on my part. Lots of thermoforming. Ter thermoforming. Terraforming. Thermoforming. What, 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 what word is that? You don't speak English anymore, friend. Yeah, I'm talking gibberish. And get some water, continue the makeshift river, that way, that way driver, after that trick, and step on it, and bada bing bada boom, now I need to wind up this whole river thing, and we're almost there, friends, we're almost there. Wasn't much of a journey, but we're there. We got our, we got our, we got our uh, boat channels all done and dusted. Just a couple of blocks away and we're almost there. Hmm. Oh yeah, I should get my boat to show you the other uh, Terraforming channel business I did last time to, to get the tri to get all the villagers to the end and you know start that breeding gizmos and whatnot. Just a second. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Looking pretty nice. Oh, I mean, it's looking crummy right now, but give me some more uh, time behind the camera, behind the scenes, offline. And I'm gonna make you proud of me. I'm definitely gonna make it look fine. I'm gonna make it lush with lots of greenery and whatnot. Yeah, but now it's generally good. We connect it to this place. And 
nice little turn through the tunnel of love. Not very lovely, but uh, it's gonna get lovely, lovely. Let me uh, get my boat and uh, clean up my inventory because it's, it's a big mess. Probably gonna use some of the materials for you know building the rest of the terraforming business, but for now it's fine. I think my boat is in the equipment box. Yep. Got a boat. Get my uh, ender chest, swap it. Get some food in my belly. Because I'm getting hungry. Let's go check out that other. Uh, whoops. Yeah, never mind. A little bit. A little bit claustropho claustrophobic. A tight. It's a tight squeeze. But we're gonna fix that. And later a show. And not much of a boat kind of guy, am I? So let's begin at the scene of the crime. Or the, the seat of operations. Where I started to do the villager stuff, skidoos. Row, row your boat, then gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily, let's throw in the hay. Hey, hey, hey. And there we go, this is the whole business shebang I've been doing last time. Connecting all the rivers and whatnot. And the world is not loading for some reason. And lo and behold. So I got me a couple of villagers for breeding from my uh, villager breeding hole op operations, which is like the same like in the end one. And I was like thinking to myself, mm, why don't I make another one in the end, much more safer there. But since I don't wanna lose my mending pal buddy. I'm gonna leave him here and gonna continue breeding in the end. So I need two villagers, you know, a farmer and whatnot. I push them outside over here, put them on a the boat, and away we go. So I therefore most of the you know business here needs more work. I want to you know the land to be gradually going down, not like these. Um, I'm stuck in something. Not these, you know, two blocks down. It needs to be like this, you know, a little bit gradual going down. Skidoodles, that's part of the terraforming business I'm doing. So I go in over this turn, then this is the big terraform job I did, and I think I got most of it. You cannot even tell, oh, in some places you can tell it's man made. But most of it's nice and gradual and probably needs more work. It's still a little bit tight on the corners. And I make made it a little bit natural, like not straight, but you know, with some curvage. It's totally curvy. Curvy net curves in any corner, so it's not straight path. It has a little bit of nice feel to it. It's some something natural going on. Oh, here, then we connect to this pink water mass. I tightly little squeeze in here, and uh, we're on our way to victory. Get out of here, squid. Then we go this way, then we take a nice little turn. Oh, no, I'll get the hang of it. Then a nice turn over here, over here, over here. Hmm. And this is the new place I made from the pagoda and whatnot. Connects to this whole other river systems. And you go this way, this way a little bit I squeeze, I gotta do something about it. And lo and behold, we're almost 
at the big ocean clearing out stuff of skidoodles and I think yeah a squid I ran into a squid and another squid yeah it's a pretty long way but it's worth believe me then there we go we're in the ocean then we're gonna take a nice left turn somewhere around here yeah so over here probably and and actually this is the fastest by by all means in my book way to transport villagers with boats so you don't have to constantly get interrupted by zombies and whatnot i mean you do need to sleep the nights then we go for this like this is an under another new section little tight squeeze again but works then i got a village I borrowed a couple of villager, villager people from there, then we go this way. This way another uh, tight squeeze path, but if you're a decent driver like me, you can go around the bends and whatnot, no problem. Then we go forward a little bit. And I need to eat something again. Going forward and forward and forward, and even more forward, and even more than that. I mean, I did use the railways, but something bad happened to the first villager, so I decided that you're gonna use the boats. Boats more safer that way. And finally, we're in our final destination, where it's the entrance to the end portal place so I get my villagers over here I mean I use a, a teensy wincy little bit of tracks here and there they're not here anymore but I put a little track when I park my boat here I get the guy out of the boat select the boat then I don't mind cards that goes over here they fall over here and I push them in the portal and uh, from there I'll teleport, I'll teleport I'll transport them with more minecarts. For a couple of there, do some you know breeding, then get all the people in the in the breeding in the trading hall. And it's perfect perfect you know location because they need to be at least a hundred blocks away from each other so they won't mass breed and get out of control and whatnot. So that's the only breeding part. That's gonna be the new automated farming complex which is gonna produce lots of carrots which I'm gonna transport like I said to the tr breeding hole and get more villagers and I get them over here and expand this thing probably that way or this way I don't know get the best villagers in the business and live happily ever after I don't know stuff like that but more or less that's that's what what I've been doing these days Especially uh, the terraforming parts with all the water channels and whatnot. But uh, thank you for watching, guys. Sorry for uh, I got interrupted two times in a row. Man, a guy cannot get a decent video out without somebody interrupting him in his um, time of relaxation and making videos. So, like I said, sorry for that. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one.